Hi Taurus, welcome to the Soul Song. My name is Nina. If you're new here, thank you for clicking on this video and welcome. I hope you enjoy the reading. I, and if you're returning, welcome again. Thank you for your continued support. So this is your 2020 vision reading, also known as Shine Bright Like a Diamond. <laughs> I'm calling it that because uh, the layout that I'm using is inspired by the diamond layout that uh, Layla, the Lenormand reader, has recently used in her Lenormand readings. So I thought, why not try this with Staro? So shout out to Layla. If you're interested, please do watch um, some of her readings. The channel name is The Lenormand Reader. Okay, so this is going to be your 2020 reading. Um... The way I see the 2020 energies is that there's a big emphasis on seeking experiences, places, people, things that are a vibrational match for who you are, or for who you've become. Okay, 2019 has been a year of learning and growing and growing pains for a lot of us. So I feel like it's quite a crucial year, 2020, stepping into the new decade, having um, having a new foundation to build on, okay? Then uh, there's this huge emphasis on relocating, moving, um, like I said, seeking experiences that are new, that are almost alien to you, okay? And uh, also seeking people who are supportive, who you can trust. So a lot of these questions are coming up. Besides that, uh, there's an emphasis on, like I said, building a strong foundation. A lot of Capricornian energy is what is dominating our astrology these days. So it's all about slow and steady progress, working hard, working um and also the um idea of authority hierarchy all of these um structures in our life foundations okay uh these are being highlighted so there could be some changes in those areas you could either challenge authorities or you could learn to be your own authority in your in your life or you know build a new structure in your life in whatever area of your life that that uh, applies to okay so let's begin the reading with the uh, tarot we have the queen of pentacles this is a very earthly <laughs> earthy slow um comfortable energy it is about being surrounded with Things that matter to you, feeling comfortable in your own skin, being grounded, being uh, diligent is what I'm hearing, okay? And there's so much beauty surrounding her. So seeking that experience in whatever shape or form in your life, uh, focusing on your health, your mental health, your health in terms of your physical health, your spiritual health, okay? And seeking experiences that allow for you to feel comfortable in your skin and uh, feel grounded, feel anchored, okay? Feel stable and secure. So this is, speaking of stable and secure, you have the two of pentacles after that. So let's see. Okay, so speaking of home foundation, we have the four of wands, the three of pentacles, the four of pentacles, interesting, a lot of pentacles showing up in your reading, which doesn't surprise me, because you're Taurus, and this is also kind of your card, okay, I also associate this with Taurus. The Empress, the High Priestess, and the Nine of Pentacles. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, 
my goodness i okay hands down this is probably the best lay layout i've seen the best set of cards until now okay you're in for a ride taurus quite literally for some of you so let me just adjust the camera a bit so you can see all the cards this is a really nice diamond that you have got okay so the central energy the focal point is the three of pentacles this is a really good energy for you if you are especially um working with other people okay in small groups in uh, i'm hearing conversations networking uh ideas exchange of ideas thoughts exchange of um services is also what i'm hearing if you are perhaps a freelancer or you're looking yeah if you're looking for clientele if you're looking for people that you gel with people that you can work with this looks like a fantastic year okay wow where do i begin i mean all of these cards are just superb <laughs> okay so let's start with the beginning of the year you have the four of wands the chariot and high priestess this could be you celebrating some kind of a milestone in your life because i am seeing success i am seeing you being in control you being um you feeling confident of where you're heading of who you are and uh being surrounded by people who are supportive people who are or moving towards people who are supportive and people that you can work with people that you can rely on you know um i'm kind of getting like the da the garden image from lenormand so that is about being a part of a good community a group of people that are nice that are on the same wavelength as you are and with the high priestess so uh, i feel that you're you're being led by your heart okay you're following your heart is what i'm getting you're following the insights that you have you're following the um your inner calling is what i'm hearing okay for some of you this could be you working from home and achieving success in that area of your life uh this could have something to do with teaching with learning going back to school things like that okay or graduating for some of you hmm this uh could very well involve you moving or relocating to a different place but where you're heading is a really good space to be in okay and then we have the fool the three of pentacles and the nine of pentacles which is just fantastic i <laughs> mean whatever you're starting off uh or the spark that is being lit in the beginning of the year which is being carried forward to the middle of the year it's going to bring you even more success okay it's going to bring you uh not just a cause for celebration but something that allows you to really enjoy life to the fullest be patient with yourself and really enjoy and be comfortable with who you are be comfortable in your skin okay and feel um happy about where you've reached so you could perhaps be taking some kind of a risk a calculated risk is what i'm hearing uh perhaps i don't know why i'm hearing going abroad for some of you you could be traveling abroad taking up perhaps a job offer or something like that which gives you an an opportunity of a lifetime that you just can't refuse and you know that there are some risks involved but you can work on uh these risks or anything that you feel is uh, a bit of a hindrance or an obstacle 
I feel like there are people around you to help you with that, okay? And this is leading you to financial independence. It's leading you to a place where you can really, I'm hearing, relax and enjoy life, okay? And uh, feel really grounded and self-reliant. And um, you don't really reach here without making the effort because this uh, follows the Eight of Pentacles, which is hard work, okay? So you've earned this. This hasn't just come to you unexpectedly or undeservedly, okay? Then we have the Page of Cups, the Four of Pentacles and the Empress. Um, I feel like... Uh, okay, for those of you who are perhaps uh, looking to expand your family, uh, there's a good chance that... Towards the end of the year, you could possibly con conceive, okay? Uh, and I feel like you're going to keep it a secret. You're not going to reveal that to a lot of people, which is fair enough. <laughs> then uh, for those of you who that doesn't apply to, I feel that you're reaching a place where you can... What I'm hearing is you've reached a place where you can really enjoy who you have become, who whatever you have accomplished and accumulated in terms of wealth, wealth in all senses, okay, not just material wealth, but yes, a lot of material wealth is what I'm seeing here. And uh, what I'm hearing is you could perhaps be getting an invitation or some kind of an offer of love of uh, I don't know just um, like uh, someone trying to grab your attention okay but I feel that there's um, you could perhaps be a little closed off to that idea maybe for those of you who are single, I feel uh, especially this applies to you if there's someone coming in your life or extending this offer of, of love, saying, hey, take my cup or whatever, you could perhaps uh, not be really excited about it, okay, let's just put it that way. There are things that you are holding on to. What I'm hearing is deserved success. Possibly you see, um, okay, for some of you this is quite specific, but there may be people from your past who are perhaps coming back to now apologize to you for perhaps not believing in you or not um, giving you the support when you needed it and you're not taking them seriously, okay, which is fair enough. Um it's almost like you're guarding your wealth, okay? You're guarding your empire. You're guarding whatever you have created for yourself in 2020, okay? Hmm. Let's get one clarifier for this Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Okay, yeah. So this could actually be you just guarding yourself, guarding your heart like I was feeling. This could as well be someone from the past who may not have believed in you or who may not have put in the effort when you wanted them to and now they're perhaps they have changed but they're coming back and uh, just expressing their interest in getting back in your life and you're not really keen on that, okay? That's the story that is playing out here for most of you. Um, for others of you, this could have something to do with a child. If you have children, I feel that uh, you may be sort of... Um, setting up boundaries when it comes to children because 
especially if you feel that they're not reciprocating or they're not or they may be perhaps taking advantage of you in some way you're setting up boundaries and you're not um, you're putting your foot down okay that is what i'm hearing okay so subconsciously or at a soul level in a spiritual uh, sense i feel that you're doing really well we have the high priestess the nine of pentacles and the empress this is a really strong feminine yin energy okay you're proud of where you are you're happy with uh, whatever you've worked through uh, you've done the inner work you have perhaps healed a lot of issues from the past you are listening to your intuition you're highly connected to source you are uh, in your power okay you're not chasing anything or anyone you're really comfortable with where you are and you know that everything you need is going to be provided to you so there's i can feel gratitude i can feel uh, a sense of power and a strong feminine um or divine feminine if you'd like to call it that kind of energy so this looks really powerful um the empress is someone who has a really warm nurturing energy but she's so confident of where she is that she doesn't really she doesn't need to uh go out there and prove herself or do anything or chase anyone um trying to grab attention or anything she's really fine with bear uh with she knows who she is she knows that everything she needs is going to be um is going to nothing that belongs to her is going to pass by okay that is the the energy very yin energy working with the law of attraction then at um in terms of how you're appearing externally or in front of the world very confident very playful very uh, happy go lucky um focused uh driven um yeah i'm getting this really nice playful vibe light hearted uh proud of your success but uh, still quite humble is what i'm feeling okay so this looks great let's take a look at your oracle cards so the thing is you may be very individualistic but you're still working with other people you're willing to work collaborate and have a team effort okay put in a team effort we get music harmony celebration nice community that's not surprising at all then you have angel of love man holding a coin thinker and yang okay interesting i was talking about yin energy and you actually got yang so perhaps um, the advice here is for you to sort of balance out both of these energies know when to take action know when to sit back and enjoy life and um work with the law of attraction okay and listen be open to listening from the universe looking for in trusting your instincts trusting the insights that you receive from uh, god or the source or whoever you believe in okay and uh, celebrating life is a huge thing i feel like you may be perhaps getting an a lot of opportunities in 2020 to just celebrate to be you to dance to sing to eat to um be around people who are who have your best interests at heart people that you can enjoy with people that you uh feel warmth and affection from okay there is an indication of somebody approaching you um in terms of your love life if you are single um but again like i said you're going to give it a 
a lot of thought okay that is what i am feeling everything looks really beautiful and positive it's just that you may be perhaps uh when it comes to matters of the heart you may be thinking a lot okay or being a bit too practical and not balancing it with your sort of heart uh, heart led energy okay so i'm going to read a little bit from this from the guide book for this card the thinker and that's an angel number number 44 so let's see what messages want to come through for that okay just a sec Okay so the essential meanings are strategy being analytical and logical the oracle's message the ability to reason and strategize is the focus now take things at face value and follow the logical path your calculations will prove to be correct for in this moment there is no deeper meaning than what is obvious things are exactly as they seem you have all the information you need keep it simple and you will win the game of life you're playing right now okay the relationship message is love is not logical but when you choose a partner it is good to have things in common other than desire this is a time to weigh the pros and cons of your partnership if there's enough common ground go for it if not there are other fish in the sea speaking of fish <laughs> the page of cups carries a fish in his cup don't force it to work and should others tell you who they are tell them take them at their work i'm sorry take them at their word now is not the time to indulge in a fantasy no matter what in this case the facts are the facts okay so there's an emphasis on yes on being logical on seeing things at face value um but i feel like there's a necessary a uh, message here for you to balance both of these energies okay especially other than your love life okay when you're taking decisions it's good to be both analytical and uh led by a heart and intuition because that is showing through in your reading okay and then take action and also striking a balance between when to take action and when to just sit back and let the universe do its work okay so that was your reading i hope this was useful this looks like a fantastic year ahead for you okay um I wish you all the very best uh for the year ahead and uh, I'll see you in other readings in 2020 do take care of yourself and if you'd like a direct reading you could contact me at the soul song 11 the number 11 at gmail.com all right so I'll see you again take care god bless bye bye